Hello and welcome to Virginia Homegrown's May episode. My name is Keith Nevison, Manager of Farm and Nursery Operations at Monticello. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Bernice and Armand Tiblo from the Cory Gardens at Schuyler. Welcome you two. Hi Keith. Hello Keith. I've had the distinct pleasure of visiting your garden before, but I'm curious if you can let our viewers know a little bit about the history and inspiration for uh, how you went about creating your gardens. Well, I'll give you the quick overview. In 2013, Bernice retired from our job in Baltimore. We did the Great American Road Trip. We drove around the outside of the country. And when we got to Seattle, we went across to Vancouver Island to see the Butchart Gardens which are a fantastic set of garden, million and a half people visited every year. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful things, worth the trip out there to see. But it's an old limestone quarry. And we realized that as we were driving back from there on the way home, we said, you know, we got a quarry too, but we could emphasize our quarries because they're interesting to look at in and of themselves, unlike the limestone quarry, which was just a big pit. So on the way back, we uh, did the initial planning for uh, uh, doing something here at the Quarry Gardens. We say, you know, maybe we could do native plants. And that's how it all started. That's great. And I know you do a lot with native plants. So can you tell me a little bit about your mission at the Quarry Gardens? Well, actually, we have two missions. Uh, one, of course, is native plants. And we use native plants. We proselytize for native plants. We use them in three different ways. We plant them. Uh, if we're adding any to our uh, existing stock, uh, we uh, select plants that are native to within 15 miles of Schuyler. So they're very local uh, in their orientation. Uh, we have a demonstration garden that we're in the process of, uh, of, of building up in front of our visitor center to show homeowners how they might be able to use uh, native plants in their own landscaping. And we have some research beds in which we're researching various mixtures of native grasses in the hopes of being able to come up with one that likes it here in zone seven. And that wouldn't make the homeowners association too excited if you were to replace your Kentucky bluegrass with it. <laughs> well, that's one side of the operation. The other side of the operation is that we want to preserve the artifacts and, and the history of soapstone quarrying here in Schuyler. Uh, since that was the economic engine of this county for over 100 years. That's great. Now, I know you do a lot with uh, diversity, and I'm curious, uh, Bernice, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about how you went mapping this diversity. Well, before we started much of anything, we uh, happened into the Center for Urban Habitats in Devon Floyd, and uh, they started us off by surveying the property, the 40 acres. And uh, for most of the year, they uh, were here uh, intermittently, uh, crawling around, identifying plants. And in the process of that, they found uh, more than 350 species of plants and animals. And those wow. surveys have continued uh, up until the present, most recently this spring. And we're now up to 950 species of animals and plants, of which 650 are plants and almost all of those are native. And we think it's the largest collection of uh, native plants of any public garden in Virginia. Well, wow, that's just wonderful. And can you tell me some, some maybe some about some of the uh, more interesting flora that exist on your property? The more interesting flora? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, 48 of, of the uh, of the plants uh, that have been recorded have been first for Nelson County. One of those is, is a lovely little thing called blue curls. Uh, another is a very delicate, charming uh, world milk, milkweed. And you know, not all of those, those firsts have been exciting, of course. Some of them have been uh, first only because nobody bothered to record them before. <laughs> but there it is anyway. We have crane fly orchids. You don't expect orchids around here. We have Eastern prickly pear catcus. Uh, that uh, a lot of people are surprised to find as a native plant here in Virginia. Mm -hmm. We have such exotic as perfoliated bellworts. Uh, we have uh, uh, eucharas uh, or coral bells are called. Uh, oh, there's just a profusion of stuff here and I'm not going to catalog it all. You got to come and see it yourself. That's all. <laughs> 
think it's great that you have so much diversity there. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the techniques that you're using to revitalize your landscapes at the garden? Well, the survey showed that we had 14 ecosystem zones and seven conservation areas. And this owes to the great variety of um, soils that our, our, our underlayment, our, our bedrock of soapstone is a little different for, for this area. Uh, so we have a mixture of soils arriving from both the Charlottesville Formation and from the Lynchburg Formation geologically and with the different uh, aspects of the land and the different growing conditions. It's given us a lot of different plants to begin with. And so it, within those eco zones where we can add things, we can build out the uh, communities and uh, within the conservation areas, we're not adding anything. We're just trying to keep the uh, invasive species out of the way. Well, I understand you do uh, work with controlled burns on your property. Well, early this spring, Devin Floyd organized a prescribed burn of the parking lot islands, which the surveys had shown to be potentially very rich. And indeed, those burns uh, woke up uh, some wonderful plants. Uh, and one of those is uh, Clematis ochreluca, or curly heads. And another is uh, wild yam. So it's a good, good process. It's great. Now, you know, because you're really working with the soils and the nat natural topography and conditions of the land and trying to work with the existing uh, plant species that are there, I just think it's really wonderful and you probably create some uh, highly unusual uh, conditions that you're on your property and that yields, yields uh, some fascinating discoveries uh, all the time. Can you tell me maybe a little bit more about some of the other organizations that you've uh, worked with? I know that you guys are great at uh, sponsoring different groups to come and visit the property, different educational groups. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about some of those that you work with? Well, we've had, we've had visits from a, a great many uh, interest organizations, native plant groups, and geological groups, history groups as well. Um, and we have a partnership with each of the master naturalists and master gardeners organizations in the two counties. We're right on the border between Nelson County, we're in Nelson, but on the border between Nelson and Albemarle counties. And so volunteers from those organizations can come to us and get, well, they get credit for the hours they spend with us and so that's been very rewarding. That's really fantastic and if one wanted to learn a little bit more about your gardens and get involved uh, is there a place that they can go to uh, get more information? Absolutely. Very, very definitely. The place to go is quarry gardens at skylar.org <laughs> and uh, you'll see the entire biota of what we have here, uh, where they came from, uh, what they're all named, of course, and where they're planted and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's also true of somebody who wants to come and visit the garden. Uh, all of our visitors are escorted on their first tour around the gardens uh, because of the nature of the, uh, of the site. We feel that that's important. So uh, people who want to come and visit need to go to the website first and reserve a time. We list all the times when we're uh, offering tours. That's tremendous. And I know I've had the pleasure of uh, visiting your garden and taking that tour. And I know many of our viewers are eagerly awaiting uh, when they can do so safely again. So thank you, Bernice and Armand, for taking the time today. I wish you tremendous success. All right. We look, thank you very look much. forward to seeing you back.